So next up, it's time to download and install Recordbox. So we can go to the Recordbox website, recordbox.com, to download it from here. Now, it can get a bit confusing because there are actually two versions of Recordbox. You have the standard free version, and then you also have a premium version. Now, with the premium version, you can DJ out with it. So if you have a controller of some sort, then you can actually use the software to DJ with. But on this course, we're going to focus on the free version. And this is the version that you will need and you want to be using if you're going to be DJing out using one of Pioneer's players like the CDJs, for example. Now, the website might look slightly different because they're always updating it and adding new features. So it might look slightly different, but there's always going to be a download link on there. So let's hit the download button. Now, it should automatically pick the version of Recordbox that's suitable for your computer. For example, I'm on a Mac, so it's actually picked out that I'm going to download the Mac version. But first off, I just need to agree to this license agreement. So you can read through this, check agree, and then hit download. Depending on your browser, it might actually ask you to allow it download. So I'm just going to allow that. And whilst that's downloading, we actually have a few instructions here as to how to install Recordbox and use it. So the first step that it does talk about is actually setting up an account with Recordbox. This is a free account. You don't have to pay anything for it. It's not a subscription. We can just set up an account really, really easily. And that's done straight from the software. You can see here that it actually takes you through all this, but I'm actually going to go through all of that now. So if we go to our downloads folder, we'll see that we now have the installer for Recordbox. So I'm going to double click on this. Now this might look slightly different on the PC, but the steps will be very, very similar. So I'm going to continue through this installer. Again, it asked me to agree to a license. I want to install it for all users on this computer, so I'll click continue. And again, I'll click install. And it might ask you for the administrator's name and password to go through. And there we go, the installation was now successful. Now, if we head to our applications folder, we can now see that Recordbox 5 is installed and we can run it from here. Now, as I mentioned, you do need an account to be able to use Recordbox, but it is free, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna create one now. So we're back again on the Recordbox website and this is where we're gonna create our account. It's a fairly standard form, so just go through and fill out your details. It will need to be a valid email because you will be sent a verification to this email. It's up to you whether you want to be included on their newsletter. And finally, I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. Now, as I mentioned, it does need to be a valid email because they do send you out an email to confirm your account before you can start using it. So go back to your email and just confirm that email that comes through. So I've gone to my email and I've clicked on the link that Pioneer have sent me and that's now validated my account. So I can now start using it with Recordbox. So all I need to do now is put the email address in and the password that I've just set up. And let's hit set up. And if your account is all validated and everything is all good, you'll see this message. You may also be prompted by your computer to enter your admin name and password just because Recordbox needs to make some changes to finish the setup. And there we go, Recordbox is all set up and ready to start being used. <laughs> 